Hi, I'm Kizzy Cox and this is What's the 411, bringing you the latest in entertainment news, sports and lifestyle. This year the New York African Film Festival is celebrating its 20th anniversary and it's doing so by looking back to its roots with a tribute to Usman Sembane, the father of African cinema, and also looking forward to a whole new set of filmmakers bringing the African experience to the big screen. I understand that you are the director for Bone Shaker. Tell us a little bit about what that film is about. Uh, it basically follows an African family that's lost in the Louisiana swamps and they're traveling to a church to try and cure their problem child, basically. <laughs> and, and what kind of uh, ideas does it treat? Like what is it looking at in particular? Um, it looks at what it's like to have grown up in between cultures, sort of always moving around, which I think is a very African experience of a certain generation, i.e. my generation. Um, and so it's sort of, instead of trying to find an answer for what is home in the 21st century, it's more about what does it feel like to always be caught between societies. Mm -hmm. And so you said that that was actually your experience. I mean, where, where are you now between that, those two cultures? Um, I live in New York right now, even though I'm planning on moving, I feel like I'm always going to move because I am from Ghana. My parents are Ghanaian. I was born there and I grew up there. But I also grew up in Hong Kong and Norway and California. <laughs> and now my parents are moving to Vienna. I think I'm going to move there too. Always moving. <laughs> wow. Okay. And so they're actually the, the, the um, motto for this year's festival is looking back. Mm -hmm. And they're honoring Usman Zambain. How, what kind of what kind of influence did he have on you as a filmmaker? A great, great, great inf influence on me personally. Um, just because I think that uh, my one of my big reasons for wanting to be a filmmaker was being African, but always knowing that people weren't seeing what Africa was. And Usman Semben's films were the first films that I saw that were African, but weren't, you know, African because they were being played as an African film among other films. They were like films of their own right. They were artistic, they were powerful, they were intellectual. They were full films. They were better than any films I'd ever seen before. And they were African. And that was a very special thing to see. That, you know, being an African filmmaker wasn't, always, filmmaker wasn't always being about pigeonholed. Being pigeonholed. <laughs> exactly. So I understand that Provangene Wallace is actually in your film. What was it like working with her? Uh, she is a star. She was born a star in the best kind of way. She's mature and smart and um, her background is very different from my characters. She's a you know, child of African immigrants. Uh, so uh, you know, I spent a lot of time at first trying to talk to her about what it was, but she got it from the beginning. She just instinctively got it. And she's so smart like that. You know? Did it surprise you when she was nominated for an Oscar? In many ways, no, but in many ways, yes, because when we were in the swamp shooting with her, it, she was just an eight-year-old girl from Homa. <laughs> but she was always going to be a star, so it's, it's just a matter of time. I mean, she already is. <laughs> so is there anything else in that you're working on right now? Any films we can look out for? Yeah, the reason why I look so haggard is because I just wrapped my, my short Afronauts. Um, uh, it's about uh, a group of zombie and exiles in the desert trying to beat America to the moon on the night that they send up Neil Armstrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's, that's what I'm working on next, Afro Nuts. <laughs> well, good luck with everything and thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. So much. Thank you.